In this video, we're going to make a short, basic Google Forms quiz. For this one, I recommend using your personal Google account. I would say your personal slash school related one, but not a Wake County ruled Google account or otherwise Google Apps for Education account, just in case you have domain sharing issues with getting your students to take the, the quiz later. So I've already logged in. I just went to drive.google.com and typed in my account credentials. But I wanted to show you first um, how you upgrade to the newer version of Drive. If you are planning to use this, this Google form as a quiz with Fluberoo, which is what this series of videos is about, then you do want to upgrade to the newer version of Google Drive and Google Forms because the old version of Fluberoo is no longer being supported. It's only supported on the new version through the add-on store. So the way that you upgrade to the newer version of Drive is by clicking on this gear icon over here and choosing Experience the new Drive. You can also undo this process. You can actually do the same thing and go back to the old version of Google Drive. So after we're logged in here, we're going to click on the button that says New. I need to hover over the More option to get Google Forms, and that's where I can start creating a new form. So for this type of document, I think it's a good idea to collect a certain amount of basic student information. So that's the first part of what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to create a really short three question quiz in order to do this. Okay, So this is what it looks like when a form is started. It usually doesn't take that long to start, but it is always good to give things titles. So this is going to just be group collaboration quiz. Hit OK. It also adjusts your title on the main part of the th screen. So as I mentioned, I like to get some very basic information for my students because this is all going to generate a spreadsheet. And if you get information that can help you sort that spreadsheet that makes it easier for you to deal with, then it's generally something that I would like to do. So I'm going to change this first thing to a text question because I just want them to type in their name. I do want this to be required. And I'll click done because I don't think that they need any extra guidance on what to put for their first name. Because I'm going to have the next few of these being text questions that are required, I'm going to click on the little copy button to duplicate the question exactly and just modify each one of those. So I'm going to also ask for their last name because then I can sort by last name. I also want their email address because that's how they can get their grade email to them that Fluberoo will do for you. In order to verify that they have put in a valid email address, you can click on Advanced Settings, Data Validation. This is a text input, but it's an email address specifically. So if a student puts in an email address that does not have at gmail.com, for example, it will prompt them to say that they didn't enter a full email address. Okay. The last thing I like to add is for them to tell me which class period they're in. So I make that a multiple choice question, and I just put first, second, third, et cetera. Okay, and that's also required. And I also finally have my students uh, sign an academic integrity pledge by basically initialing the box that says that they abide by the pledge. So I do add help text here, which can, is, as it sounds, something that can help someone understand what to put in. I ask them to type their initials in order to sign it. And that will then be a text option or a text question as well. Okay, so I do ask for all of that basic information, and we're going to go ahead and start making questions. If you want it to be completely self grading, your quiz needs to be multiple choice. You can add short answer and paragraph responses, but you have to understand that those will be things that you will be reading in a spreadsheet, which may not be something that you want to do, and also Fluberoo won't be able to grade those, so you will have to evaluate those somehow yourself. So we're just going to work on a multiple choice quiz. I chose multiple choice as my question. I'm going to type out the first question and then I'm going to copy and paste from a Word document to save some time. Um, so. 
What components should be included in collaborative projects? Class data or information. Group work. Individual assessment. And all of these. I do choose to click the required question button for my multiple choice quizzes so that if a student skipped a question, um, it's not going to let them submit it until they've answered all of them. And also at least forces them to guess, if anything. So we're not going to do any advanced settings yet. That'll be in the next video. I'm going to create two more questions. These are going to be multiple choice as well, so I'm just going to duplicate that and copy and paste. So you can see that if you have a an already existing Word document version of the quiz that you'd like to create virtually and not need paper for anymore, then you can pretty easily copy and paste what you already had. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how to make a Google quiz sort of more appealing and also some of the additional things that you can do that are especially appropriate to use as quiz features if you are using this with a large group of students. So I have just created a three question multiple choice quiz that I could go ahead and use with students if you watch the video about sharing that and how to grade it, which is going to be following this one.